Welcome to our F1 2024 Austrian Grand Prix predictions. Today I'm alone once again. I'm without my my buddy AJX as he cannot unfortunately join me in the recording, but I hopefully can uh, withstand the pressure of recording the load. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get into the predictions uh, for the Austrian Grand Prix. I don't have necessarily high hopes for this weekend. I think it's going to be all right. Just like the Spanish Grand Prix, I just don't have too much of a high hopes. I think qualifying will be very exciting. I think it's going to be extremely close once again, especially as it's the shortest track on the calendar. And as generally, Austria has been extremely close always, basically. Um, yeah, I think the race will be more straightforward uh, towards one driver, but I'll, we'll get to that later. Obviously, let's start with qualifying. Actually, I'll start with the sprint as, as the format is like that. The sprint qualifying is first. I'm going to go with... Hmm, I'm going to go with Max for, for sprint pole position. And Ajax goes with Lando Norris. Oh, uh, we're different here. And sprint race, we're going to go the same as well. Um, Max and Lando for the sprint race and sprint, uh, sprint qualifying. So yeah, I'm a bit more pessimistic than Ajax, obviously, here. But yeah, let's get into qualifying, where I predict Lando Norris pole position as well as Ajax. So yeah, Max P2 for Ajax. It's... Awesome PS3 P2 for me. I'm gonna put, not gonna put Max in P2. I'm gonna put it in IP3, which is probably uh, very stupid. Um uh, PS3 in P3, that's fair. P4 for me is, is Charles and for Ajax is Carlos. P5 for me is George and P5 for Ajax is Lewis Hamilton. This is looking like interesting qualifying. Let's get into Grand Prix. And my fifth place is... Actually, who's my fifth place? Okay, I'll start with AGXs. The fifth place is Russell, George Russell. My P5 would be actually probably Charles. Uh, P4 for Hamilton, for AJX. And my P4 would be... Lewis Hamilton as well. P3 for Ajax is Oscar. Same for me. And it's actually the same for both of us for the results of the Grand Prix as well. Uh, Max win with Lando P2. Basically same as Spain. Passes lap for um, Ajax. Ajax doesn't didn't uh, <laughs> didn't predict the fastest lap, so uh, I'm gonna go uh, give him Max because it's the it's actually the like probably the most likely option out of the twenty drivers. I'm gonna go with Lando, same as Spain. Um, uh, least impressive driver. Hmm. No, this is least impressive team. Okay, uh, Ajax went with Aston, so a pretty safe pick. Um, when it comes to Austria, I'm probably gonna go with. Miami like order it was it was like pretty bad in Miami. I remember that? Um, actually, um, I'm gonna put it Mercedes for the least impressive team because they've been in a very strong form recently, qualifying in the well on pole position in Canada and uh, in the in the second row for for Spain. So obviously they're in a upward trajectory, and I feel like this strike is not gonna particularly suit them. Uh, even though my predictions say, well, not say otherwise, they, they confirm it slightly, but I'm going to go with Mercedes. Least impressive driver for Ajax is Kevin Magnussen. I have no idea what Magnussen has to do to be the least impressive driver of the weekend, because you don't normally expect Magnussen to shine, let's say like that. Uh, my least impressive driver... Hmm. I go with Carlos Sainz for uh, for no reason. I just uh, you know vibes. Uh, my least impressive team would be actually probably mm, go with Alpine. I guess I could go with Toro but 
I, I'm gonna stick with Alpine. They they proved me right. In Spain, I'm gonna go with them. Is impress the most impressive team for Ajax is Williams. It's very interesting and could be definitely in the in the shout um, as Alpin obviously uh, has a good track record on this track. I think so. Yeah, um, most impressive driver. Um, my most impressive driver. I'm gonna stick with Gasly. Um, Ford most impressive as I was very impressed with him in Spain. Uh, Ajax went with Lando, so he's probably expected Lando to have an insane weekend. Which, based on his predictions, I mean, qualifying, sprint, qualifying, sprint win, and P2 in the race is a pretty good weekend from Lando Norris. <laughs> Extra world prediction for Ajax is uh, Magnussen race ban for a British Grand Prix. For the British Grand Prix, uh, basically getting his final penalty point, I think, that he needs uh, in order to be banned for a race, basically, uh, thanks to the 11 penalty points he has at the moment. My triple prediction would be um, um, uh, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go with something weather related. Um one session full wet. Uh actually actually full non dry. <laughs> no fully dry. I want to specify like this, like uh, no no fully dry conditions, uh at, in at least one session. That means that uh, Whenever a session is where the start and completely dries up towards the end, it doesn't count. It has to be a session that has at least changeable conditions for the entire thing. So definitely um, probably a bit, a bit bold for me, but I'm gonna stick with it as I hope for uh, interesting weather conditions for this Grand Prix. Well, that's it for for the predictions for Austria. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, see you.